everywhere you poop, 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 poop,
Yay! Let the titties fly! Mm, I hate to 1% right now, but I think my pool guy's texting me. It's Amanda, <laughs> my pool guy. Does your pool guy know you're getting audited? <laughs> and you got laid off. <laughs> Next up, we've got Toddler Trolls BBC News. And the question we asked was, what do you guys think is below the desk? And uh, we got an answer from Reese Clark <laughs> saying, underneath the desk is probably a bunch of dumpster girls. <laughs> if you know anything about dumpster girls, <laughs> those are my favorite kinds of girls because they're just little freaks. <laughs> they got little black dimple piercings. <laughs> 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 What's a, how do you know if you're a dumpster girl? You have back, back, back dimple piercings. piercings. That's it? <laughs> That's the one? Yeah. Everybody feels like a dumpster girl at some point. It's not, guys too. It's not just like a girl thing. So everybody can be a dumpster girl, especially if you went to a Catholic church school. Because you just, you can be, you just, you can be pent up. Someone's got to cut them off. There's a <laughs> lot you've said in this video that uh, is making me nervous. It's the last one. I don't have to care anymore. You're going to have a hard time finding another drink. <laughs> <laughs> what you're saying is worse than having tattoos everywhere. <laughs> Mary Kelly said, okay, but what if the bottom of the chair is identical to the baby bouncer thing that the second little babe comes in on and it's supporting his very own Surprise. <laughs> little toddler legs. <laughs> Imagine that guy with little toddler legs. <laughs> a little grown man, a big grown man with little <laughs> toddler <laughs> legs. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a commercial for grown up toddler legs. Little <laughs> carriage, little toddler <laughs> legs. Who's Kelsey said? He for sure does not have pants on his little toddler legs. Why would you when you work from home? I'm not wearing pants right now, but I don't work from home. I just don't like pants. Renata also says, I like to think that he has two big old Cheeto puffs instead of legs under the desk. Can you imagine? And that's why the kids were running in the room to take a little munch of their daddy's legs. Yeah, what you also didn't see was a miniature <laughs> dog. Mama song. didn't feed us. Stop, we have to go stop. bite our daddy's Cheeto legs. Now, every time he puts on shorts, Please, he has Cheeto dust stop, all over stop. his hands. Are you hitting the hypothetical kids? <laughs> my little Cheeto kids, yeah. Dude. So far, you've had nothing go through with this. Step away from my legs! <laughs> <laughs> Kellyanne Conway claims microwaves are spying on you. Uh-oh, this is a tricky one. The question in the video was, what wacky ways would you spy on somebody? Dylan Humston said, I would spy on somebody using a large bowl of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> With a GoPro hidden inside a tomato nearby, I would use salads. <laughs> have you ever had a? This a, is my favorite comment. Have you ever had a, a salad from Tender Greens? It's very good. Sebastian Horblerblewitz says I would dress up as Subtic because he's a nobody who's invisible to the world, and no one would ever be able to see me. Well, Mike, I do. <laughs> Thank you. I am just surprised you read that one, considering how close talking? we are. Is, I just can't. I have a bunch somebody. of. I'm sorry. I've, is somebody I just have. It just. It oh. doesn't. It no, I'll go after drafty you. in here. No, like I'll go after you. It's real drafty and offensive. All right, yeah. I'm going now. I have a bunch of graphs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you end with I have a bunch of graphs? <laughs> Name one. <laughs> Scatter plot. What is a citizen's arrest? And the question of the video was, have you ever done a citizen's arrest? Have you ever been a part of a citizen's arrest? Have you ever been under a citizen's arrest? Would you dare to, to perform a citizen's arrest? I guess a little more than one question. You went nuts. Ali Allen said, why is Candace like actually teaching me stuff recently? I'm scared. Well, I recently lost my job, so I'm thinking of a different career path, teacher. What class would you teach? Mathematics. Teach me math right now, do me calculus. Math, gymnastics? Four times four is I think there are a lot of different ways we could take that, honestly. Like it just, math is, uh, it's left up to interpretation. I think a lot of the times. I think that's what's special about math. Amanda Allagash says, <laughs> I would only perform a citizen's arrest if I was larger than the criminal because I mean, I care, but I don't want to get killed. Sounds like you got a good head where your head goes. Yeah, I was like, I feel like that's relatable. Right. Not for me, I don't care and I want to be killed. Interesting. 99 Beta says, there is no citizen arrest in Canada. One store owner stopped a shoplifter and held them until the police arrived. The store owner was charged with forcible confinement. Whoa. The age of consent in Canada is 16. You're gross. Noah Gershak says, Supti would be the most popular inmate in prison. 
being the softest, creamiest, and prettiest boy in the slammer, he would constantly be traded for his weight in ramen. I love you being described as creamy. <laughs> I'm a creamy little passerby. Dude, in prison, they would dress you up like a cigarette and they would take turns smoking you. <laughs> Somebody draw that. Don't have friends for selfies? You can buy them in Japan is the next video. It's uh, the story of an app where you can buy friends to take selfies with. Javier Fernandez said, I had friends. Sorry, I felt you breathing on me. I had friends. Maybe one day I'll have another friend. No, I liked it, Ava. <laughs> I'll just make some Korea-inspired sauces and just put them on meat all haphazardly. <laughs> Slash it on the Start up the grill and just glaze and glaze away. Mm. You can't just use periods whenever you want. Periods are very specific. You really and they have go a thing very, about Absolutely, dots. I do. Mike, you have the worst grammar I have ever seen on script writing. I am amazing at grammar. I can't spell any words that exist. Okay, sorry. But I know right. where a fucking period goes for sure. Can't knock me for trying to criticize. <laughs> <laughs> Closey, Chloe, oh my god. Closey is good. Chloe Joey says, I think it'd be less weird if you were friends with an actual robot. Buying fake friends for selfies is like three steps away from suicide. You're absolutely right, Chloe. And I was originally going to make a joke about suicide, but I've already said too many bad things this episode. So I've decided I'm gonna hold back for now and maybe revisit this at a later date. So Chloe, good comment, and I'm looking forward, looking forward to the next ComCom. -com. And make sure to subscribe to his channel where he'll address this comment in a couple years. <laughs> I should actually do that now, two years from now, just make a video on this comment. Oliver Taylor said, I have used this service and it was wonderful. We took many lovely photos that made me look super cool. Although at the end of the days, my photo friend said that I looked like shit and made them look bad in photos and to try a little harder with my outfit. Oh my God. I Don't. feel like he's not lying. It's never too late to get different friends. You hire a new money. batch. Mm -hmm. hire dude, a new if it's batch, that easy dude. to be a hire, I'll be in anybody's photos and be like, yeah, you look like shit. <laughs> I have this dream that I... Dry hang out with Ariana Grande and she wants to hang out with me because I make her look better because I look odd next to her <laughs> that's why I hang out with Mike <laughs> <laughs> what annoys my co-workers I went around and I shoved a microphone in their face and then most of them said that but spoiler alert Go ahead and watch it. But the video as a whole was about empathy, and it was about getting annoyed by stuff, but maybe uh, seeing why people did the stuff that annoys you and see if you could uh, empathize with them. And then Jason said, I don't get too angry at anyone who makes mistakes. I have way too much empathy. Too much empathy is annoying. Just have a regular amount of empathy. <laughs> no one's gonna pat you on the back for having too much. That kind of thing usually gets underappreciated. So you're gonna be dealing with that for the rest of your life. <laughs> Here's an alternate perspective. Maybe have empathy for the fact that he has too much empathy. That would have been good for me to do right off yeah. the bat instead of all the other stuff that I said. Yeah. Let's cut to a clip of me doing that. Good comment. I got cut out of this video. <laughs> and She's really hurt by it. She won't up. stop talking about it. Who edited this? It's not going to matter in a couple days, Ava. I'm afraid of Spencer. Weepy Whoopy says Owen Carter... Uh, who's an editor here, looks like Michael Fassbender. <laughs> if Michael Fassbender owned a diner in Nevada. <laughs> Dude, good edit. Good song. That, that's making it in for sure. <laughs> Put that line in over all of his other lines. Even just if it everything I say is just diner in Nevada. <laughs> That'd be funny for a while. On Monday, we it was SourceFed's final week, and we talked about um, Eyes Five One B says I too have grown up with this channel, and I'm really sad to see it go. Thank you for all the great times, and good luck with the future. Slash S, which means sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb Pooler says. Man, I grew up on SourceFed. Started when I was 13, now I'm 84. Guess it's time to die. 
What does that make me? If you started when you were 13 and now you're 84. You're like a day over 57. Does that mean? <laughs> Since SourceFit is ending, I feel like I could express my gratefulness for its existence. I discovered this channel around a time where I was really sad and waking up to go to school became such a struggle. But when I would get home, I sat down and I started to watch your videos because I realized that SourceFit became my only source of happiness and I would smile and I would laugh which was a miracle at the time. Even though I'm really sad that you're ending, I'm also really glad and grateful for you existing at all. So thank you for sharing so much of you with us. Aw, that's very sweet. Man. Here's what you do, Paula. I understand that, that things end and it's very sad and we're sad to not hang out with you every day either. <clears throat> but here's what you gotta do in your regular everyday life. Just get friends, real life friends, to replace all of us. Get one who's basically a robot or a mannequin with a robot voice. I mean, and then get one, shut up, and then get one really tall dancer friend who has a trendy haircut, and then get one super duper, probably high all the time one who kind of just does her own thing, and then hang out with two old guys. Find any old guys. Any old guys will do. I just go point. to the grocery store and find the oldest guys there and say, hey, what are you doing later? And I think you'll find that after you've assembled that team, you'll forget all about what SourceFed was. You know where's a really good place to find old guys is at the um, McDonald's on Alvarado and Temple. There are always some old guys playing some chess. Yeah, those would be perfect, especially if you like chests. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget, we have a live stream on Friday at 2 p.m. It's California time, PDT. Nobody else believes me that that exists. <laughs> Um, everybody, thank you so much for watching SourceFed and ComCom. I love this show. It's one of my favorite shows to do on the channel. Me too. Um, it's a fucking blast to hang out with me and my buddies. Check me out on Hollywood Boulevard, busking for money later this month. Smooth. She's gonna be dressed up like a Power Ranger. <laughs> This is table talk, and but it also just so happens to be <laughs> she screwed up. table talk. <laughs> In this episode of the pod, we would just talk about our favorite moments on the channel and kind of give a well-rounded, you know, like like good times, everybody. <laughs>